Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different than I usually review. This is the Legend of Zelda Art and Artifacts book and I don't usually do video game type stuff. It's very rare but I have done some Zelda figures and way 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 back I did some uh, video game collection type stuff here on my channel. It's very very old but they are there. Um, but I just recently got this book and there is also an, a collector's edition of this book which is like I think in the $70, 75 buck range, I don't know, a little bit overpriced. Uh, I decided not to get that one because it just is just a slip cover it seems. But uh, I do still love this cover and the design of the Hyrule Crest, it looks really nice and um, the cover is a hardback. It's it's really fairly nice and it looks traditional to other Zelda books that I've collected over the past but I wanted to share some of what is in this book because it is quite lovely and um, it's uh, very impressive also but uh, it does have tons of art in it and this features every single Zelda official game or side game or whatever you want to call it it is in this book so i just wanted to kind of show it to you and kind of talk about it a little i'm a big zelda fan um i've been a zelda fan since i think around 1998 when ocarina of time came out but i also uh collected a lot of the earlier games i just wasn't that great at them i think the original two zeldas i just wasn't very good at and i never got into link to the uh, link to the past until later on after i played ocarina of time so i have played every single zelda game that has ever been made i can't claim that i've beaten all of them but i have beaten a majority of them um but yeah this book is quite pretty Lots of art in it, some art that I've never even seen before, like sketches, like when I was big into Ocarina of Time, this is one of my favorite pictures right here, official art. I had like posters of a lot of these images. They were really, really pretty. This one here, I had a big poster of as well. I was obsessed with Ocarina of Time. I still really love the game and I absolutely love the 3DS version of it. Here's of course Majora's Mask. It is also one of my favorites if you've not played it and you think it's a little too hard because of the time limit. I do recommend to try to give it a chance. You will absolutely love the challenge of it because that's one of the big features of that game. But here's of course Wind Waker. Another controversial game when it came out because of the cell shading of it but I also really love this that game. Here's Four Swords and Minish Cap, all games I've played and beaten when they came out. Really fun titles. Here's of course Twilight Princess and Twilight Princess is it's not one of my favorites. I do like the darkness of it and the more realistic look to it. Um, I played the Wii version and then later on got the GameCube version but I don't think I ever completed the GameCube version. And then this is Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Not a great game, but I did play through it and it was okay. <laughs> it wasn't one of the best. Um, there's of course Skyward Sword. This is also kind of a controversial type of game. A lot of people loved it. Other people really hated it. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those 50-50s for me. And this one here is, of course, A Link Between Worlds. And this was a fun game. It was a little short. I played through it in like less than a week. And this one's uh, Triforce Heroes. I have not actually completed this game yet. It's not really, I guess it, you can complete it, but it's more supposed to be for multiplayer. So here is the character illustrations. And of course, this will go through each one of the games one by one. Lots of really cool character art. I do really love all the character art. 
and they break it down really well. They clean up a lot of the rougher images and they just add so much to look at. A Link to the Past, one of the all-time greatest Zelda games that was ever made. If you haven't played it, then I definitely would recommend. Even if you can just only get like the Game Boy Advance version. That was the first one I ever played, the Game Boy Advance. Link's Awakening, also a really good game. And then Ocarina of Time. <laughs> you can't say anything bad about Ocarina of Time. I mean, I guess you could, but I mean, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> it's like, I played this game so many times. I mean, it's just iconic and one of the greatest stories video game stories, to me anyways. The music and the storyline is just fantastic. And I just love the enemy designs and stuff. And of course Majora's Mask was a really great sequel. Not everybody that played Ocarina of Time uh, got attached to it. I think I got attached to it right off. I, I bought it and just kept playing it and I was like really really into it was a lot more uh, challenging and I think that's what hurt it a little bit for being people's favorite and then the Oracle Ages and Seasons game this was a fun one as well very epic very long set of games but I did play through those uh, Wind Waker of course very cute game Always fun to pick up and play this one. And the character art is really cute. I mean, you could go through this book for hours. <laughs> you probably wouldn't see everything right off. It would take you a few weeks to really look through the entire book. There's four swords. I did actually play this with a bunch of friends before. It is challenging, but really, really fun. And Minish Cap. Another fun game. I loved the items in this game. I think they did a lot of really cute and fun ones. And Twilight Princess. I think I only really played through Twilight Princess a couple of times. But I did love the graphics in it. I thought it looked really awesome. Really fun game. And it had a really awesome story between the two characters. It wasn't all about Link and Zelda, which was different. And then Link's crossbow training. Uh, that's, I guess that's the only image for that. But I mean, it was it was a pretty short little side quest type of game. And Phantom Hourglass was kind of different. And you had to use the stylus to play it. And then Spirit Tracks, um, it was what it was. <laughs> Not the greatest game on, um, or for Zelda, but. Uh, and then Skyward Sword. This one was a long game for me. I didn't have a whole lot of time to play it, and then I ended up moving in between playing it, so then I stopped playing it <laughs> for a while, and then I had to get back into it again. Still a very interesting game. Um, then Link Between Worlds. Really enjoyed this character. Is really popular. Of course, uh, Princess Hilda. And all the awesome characters in it. It was a lot like uh, A Link to the Past. But I think that's what the point of it was. Was kind of bring back the nostalgicness of that game. And then, of course, this one here is <laughs> it's just a little side game. <laughs> um, okay, this is the packaging art, which is really cool for all the games. The Japanese, English. There's some more of it. It's all the games that have come out. This is the sprites which is really cool. I know back in the day, back in like when the internet was still kind of fresh, <laughs> sprites were always fun to collect. 
and this is bonus art this was promotional art and posters that came out for various games of course mario kart which is really cool i think i skipped a page no i guess not and uh, this one was really cool when it came out for the anniversary it was a summer greeting card illustration and then some Twitter illustrations. I don't remember seeing those, but I probably did see them. And then of course, Breath of the Wild. And this is coming out very, very soon. And it's a very epic game. I cannot wait to play it. I have it pre-ordered. I got the master edition, <laughs> but uh, I hope it doesn't get canceled. <laughs> That's the only thing. Like worry about it getting canceled right now, but here is some of the art, and I can't wait to play it. The art is very short though, and then we have some encoded in illustration. This is like the history of Zelda and the art for it. Different artists that worked on the art for the games. Kind of an interview with them. Very very cool. Kind of find out how some of these images got inspired and made. But yeah, that is the book pretty much. And you can find this on Amazon. You can find it probably at any bookstore that you have nearby. Uh, Amazon, of course, was a bit cheaper and I have Amazon Prime. So it was worth it to get it through Amazon for me. And of course, if you want to look out for the collector's edition, that's up to you. It's a little bit pricey, but the cover is really cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of look at it with you guys because I thought it was really impressive and uh, I really like it. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video today and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.